I'm Dr. Scott Adamson, and we're going to continue our work to understand the idea of limit. This is the sixth video to help you think about and make sense of the idea of limit. In this case, we're going to study a trigonometric function that emerges when you're later going to be studying the idea of derivatives of trigonometric functions. So if we can establish some understanding about this limit, that'll help you uh, later on when you're studying derivatives. So in this case, the function that we're examining is the function one minus the cosine of theta. Remember, theta is just a Greek letter. We could have used x, but I'm using theta here because it's often used to represent an angle measure. So one minus the cosine of an angle measure in radians, all divided by theta, that angle measure in radians, and again, we want to study what's happening to this function. That is, what are, how are the outputs of this function behaving for input values that are nearby to zero? Let's just do some mental analysis here again. Cosine, imagine this. If you imagine a rotating a certain angle, imagine the right triangle formed by that. This time, thinking about the horizontal leg of that triangle. So if the angle is zero, the horizontal leg is one. So the cosine of zero, or an angle nearby to zero, is going to produce a value that's nearby to one. One minus something nearby to one is going to be nearby to zero. And if theta is approaching zero, then the denominator is approaching zero. So we have this numerator that's getting close to zero, a denominator that's getting close to zero, zero over zero, the indeterminate form, we don't really know what's going on just for our, men our mental analysis. So it's going to be really beneficial for us to explore this function graphically and looking at a table of values and see if we can get some sense of what's happening when theta is nearby zero. So we were mentally analyzing this function to try to figure out what are, what's happening to its output values for input values of angle measures that were nearby to zero. Again, on the board, we use the Greek letter theta to highlight that we're thinking about angle measures. On Desmos here, I just conveniently use the input value of x. But still, x represents these angle measures. So as x, as the angle measure gets closer and closer to zero, what is happening to the output of this function? It's hard to tell since both the numerator and denominator are getting closer and closer to zero. Well, let's look at the graph, look at the table, and see if we can determine what's happening. So we like to imagine as x gets closer and closer and closer to zero, we can see like a 0 0.036 that the output value is, looks like also getting closer and closer and closer to zero. And if we look on the left side of zero, as x is negative 0, 0.0 something, we see out, uh, output values that are also closer and closer to zero. If I zoom in on that, that's really apparent what's happening. The closer x gets to zero, the closer that function outputs values that are also close to zero. We can confirm that by looking at a table of values. Let's specifically choose input values that are nearby to zero, like 0 0.01 or 0 0.001, or negative 0 0.01 and negative 0 0.001. And we see in the table output values that are getting closer to zero. Watch the notation here. 5 times 10 to the minus 4 really means 0 0.0005. And negative 5 times 10 to the minus 4th power means negative 0 0.0005. So again, we have to imagine inside of our heads that those input values could be closer, even closer to 0 than what I've recorded on this table. So this is just evidence to support this notion that as input values get closer to 0, output values also get closer and closer to 0. So let's go back to the board and see, how are we going to record this result? So after examining the table of values, after examining a graph, we see that the function 1 minus cosine of theta, all divided by theta, has output values that are really nearby to 0 when the angle measure theta is nearby to 0. And so we conclude that the limit as theta approaches 0 of the function 1 minus cosine theta, all divided by theta, approaches zero.